Zesco is for all of you. What we are talking about here is our own company requesting for help. Look at our financial statements, Zesco is in debt. And we've got to come out of these debts. And we don't owe them to our brothers and sisters, we owe them to independent parties, some of them international. They want their money. Now look me straight in the face. I chair the board of Zesco. And I want to guarantee to you, all of you who get me, that under my care, under, under my body's care, there shall never be a political interference on the operation of Zesco. Please take that to the bank. We were not appointed with my board because we're being appeased. We were selected on merit because they understood our ability to, uh, to deliver in certain things. We have made certain changes, and I'm sure some of you are aware. <coughs> no person, you see these men here and ladies here, not a single one of them, not even my MD, has a personal to hold a car. We abolished that. He uses his car from home to Zesco. He doesn't use a Zesco car. The reason why we ended up with 67,000 people unconnected as at the end of the first December 2021 is because we were not charging correct fees. Whereas you needed to, to, to get seven people's uh, money to connect one. It means we must, we must borrow for, we, we must, we cannot do them at the same time. So what happened is, for those, the 67,000, the money that we are requesting for now is not for those. Those were but to find means as Zesco to deal with them. That is why we are now down to below 10,000 of those people.